The Science Center of Pinellas County has been around since the 1950s, but it is currently sitting vacant. It was bought by the city in 2019 with the intent of water treatment and affordable housing. Now plans are underway for the water treatment and to restore the building for its original intent, STEM education to help generations to come. Eight on your side, Christine McClarty is at the Science Center in St. Pete with more. St. Pete City Council Member Robert Blackman says in its prime 15 years ago, the Science Center of Pinellas County was pulling in 22,000 visitors a year. Now he's working to make it happen again. Come on in. Blackman took eight on your side behind the scenes of the former gardens. It's got all 50 states in mosaic tile. He says inside there's space for events and a functioning planetarium. It has all the seats and the projectors still here with the domed roof. He says they have a plan for the back of the property. Two 7.5 million gallon tanks, one for reclaimed water and one for reject water. Blackman says recreating this building elsewhere would cost $5 million. Right now, more than ever, we have a need for all of STEM education, sea level rise, climate change, uh, uh, erosion. We need to have skilled workforce if we want to recruit jobs, which will boost our economy. Luis Manuel is excited. He says his son used to love the Science Center. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, better. better than the, the housing. It's not that this is more important, it's that we have a facility. Senator Dale Roussan says he knows its value. My brother, Dr. Damien Roussan, started at the Science Center when he was a young kid. And it sparked and motivated him to become a scientist engineer. Blackman says he knows county commissioners, neighborhood associations, and private organizations excited for the plan and hopes now residents will write to him in support. A spokesman for the city of St. Pete says they look forward to learning more in an official proposal. Blackman says that'll happen in two weeks. And if all goes as planned, he hopes to have the Science Center up and running by next year. In St. Petersburg, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.